Critical damage. Destroy. Welcome to Simple Review, a series where I briefly play a game, review it, and keep it simple. In this review, I'm covering a racing game called Gravity Chase. When playing this game, you will be able to play three core game modes, either solo or split screen with up to four players. The three game modes available are Arcade, Combat, and Eliminator. Arcade offers your standard racing experience, where your position in the race reflects how well you're doing. Combat is the same as Arcade, but you can slow players down by destroying them with weapons. Eliminator offers a standard racing experience, but the player in last place will be eliminated every 30 seconds until one player is left. Now when it comes to gameplay, you will choose between 10 unique ships that can be upgraded and customized. Upgrades cost currency earned from races. In total, you will have 16 unique tracks to race on, but only 3 of these tracks will be unlocked when starting out. Unlocking more tracks is done by earning points from ranking high in races. However, progress is divided into single player and split screen, so if you plan to play with your friends, you won't be able to enjoy the tracks that you unlocked in single player, and you will have to re-unlock them in split screen mode. Competing on any of these tracks will offer a similar experience across the board. You have a track littered with red or blue squares. The red squares will briefly slow you down if you hit them, and the blue squares will offer a speed boost if you collide with those. In addition to this, you can acquire fuel for a boost, and if you're playing in the combat mode, you can acquire ammo for your weapons and shields to block incoming damage. And that's all that this game has to offer. Now for my experience, I'd have to say I found this game to be alright. Mechanics wise, it plays pretty well. It's not the most ambitious racing game out there, but with 3 game modes offered, it provides a good variety of gameplay to change up your typical racing experience. Having the ability to upgrade ships encourages replayability, and unlocking tracks mesh very well with this. All that aside though, visually, this game is really lacking, and I feel it's really holding back the experience. I played this on the Xbox Series X, and the game is locked at 30 FPS, and offers a very dated visual experience. At times, this can make visibility when racing at high speeds very challenging and takes away from the refreshing feeling you have when trying out a new track. So with all that being said, I'd have to give this game 6.5 pepperonis out of 10. Gravity Chase offers a decent racing experience, currently held back by its dated visuals. And that'll do it for this review. If you found this review to be helpful or you would like to see more reviews, please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my channel where I post game reviews and game guides.